Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Today, I am back in my fitness planner. I told you all that I was going to get back into it. I was excited for the plans I had for my fitness and my fitness journey this month. And here I am getting back into fitness. So this is my fitness section in my Franken planner. This is my August setup that I just um, put together a few days ago. And I'm using my tie-dye fitness planner from the Happy Planner, of course. Um, and this is the monthly view. Just wanted to share um, how I'm using the monthly view. It's very similar to how I used it in previous months. Um, I write down all of my workouts, well, the ones that can fit at least, um, in the boxes here. And it gives me an, a month's overview of how much I've worked out in any given month. So uh, I have all my workouts just using pen and mild liner written out here. And I like to kind of color coordinate as well. So each type of workout has a specific color. So that way I can see at a glance what type of workouts I'm focusing on, um, you know, in a given month. For the first couple of days of this month, I've just been walking, stretching. Um, I got some hikes in. Oh, and then also I biked here. Um, 15 minutes. And Monday, yesterday, it's currently August the 8th, Tuesday. Yesterday, I got myself to the gym and I did a couple of workouts here. And, and actually, I ran out of room here. Um, I actually had um, done a few other workouts and I wasn't able to fit them into this box. So sometimes I can't fit everything in the box, but that's a good problem to have. And something new that I've been doing this month is I'm keeping track of my steps every day here on the monthly as well. And I'm writing it in blue if it's greater than 10,000, which is my goal. And then just writing it in plain black if it is below 10,000. So that's what I'm doing on the monthly. I don't really decorate the monthly very much, but I really like this washi tape that I put down here at the bottom. This was the first week in August. Very, very simple. A lot of walking. Um, I didn't really journal in here too much. Like I said, I wasn't really doing a lot of workouts the first couple of days this month. Um, just a lot of walking, a lot of stretching. Um, and I did some hikes on the weekend. But other than that, it wasn't too crazy of a week in terms of fitness. But that's fine because at least I was consistent with walking. I got some you know, additional workouts in, I got some stretches in, and I actually started my five in the morning stretching routine this week. So that was really exciting. And I hit 10k steps five out of the seven days this week. So that was nice. Kind of a plain spread, but that's totally fine. It happens. I threw down some stickers from my um, large sticker books. This one is the Go the Distance sticker book, and this one is seasons of color i think it's what it's called but these are the larger sticker books and um, i just like to throw down large stickers like this when i have a lot of empty space it makes me feel like the spread is complete but i'm excited to get back into my fitness planner i haven't really been pre-planning or setting up you know fitness programs for the week earlier on in the week i've just been kind of doing what I managed to do and then later recording it in my fitness planner. So this is the first time in a few weeks that I am actually going to be sitting down before the week has happened and planning out my workouts. And instead of um, sitting down after the day has happened and recording what I managed to get done. So this is exciting. Let me pull out these pages here. Set this to the side and then let's get into it. Okay, pulling from my big fitness sticker pack here that I've made by combining several different fitness sticker books. I'm looking for one of these pre-planning, uh, weekly pre-plan stickers. Let's see. I know I have some. Ah, here we go. This week at a glance exercise sticker. This one right here. So I'm going to pop this down right here. Perfect. This week at a glance okay so it's actually tuesday so i just need to plan for tuesday through sunday monday i actually went to the gym and i worked out 
I ran and did arms and I did abs and I stretched. So it really was like a full body um, routine. So I'm just going to put full body for Monday. Tuesday is going to be leg day for me. Oops, I put runs. Runs, <laughs> run plus legs. Wednesday, run plus arms. Thursday, run plus abs. Friday, hike plus legs. Saturday, hike plus full body. Sunday, run plus stretch. Oh, so intense. I am getting ambitious, but I am feeling very, very motivated, very pumped. So I'm excited. Okay, so Monday, let's start. Let me map out what I did Monday, and then we can start putting down boxes and such for the rest of the week. So let's see. Let me pull out some stickers here. So first off, Monday, um, I went to the gym. So I kind of want to put a little gym sticker right here. Gym. Perfect. Ooh, and actually, I kind of want to make a note here. Let me grab one of my mild liners. I want to make a little note up here at the top. Monday. And then also Tuesday, Wednesday. This is going to be my little like 5 in the morning, 5 a.m stretch box me and my best friend Carla are getting each other into a five in the morning stretch routine right now it's just stretching but soon we're going to transition into doing pilates at five in the morning like a 15 minute stretch and then a 15 minute pilates session right now we're just doing a 15 minute stretch and waking up for the rest of the time but we're slowly getting into it it's been wonderful for me it's been amazing it's given me so much energy i'm so motivated so i did it on monday and i did it today tuesday um okay so there we go i actually did my 15 minute leg stretch so i'm gonna pull for one of my stretch stickers here i actually want a smaller sticker than this i want one of these but these say 10 minutes oh well that's fine it doesn't have to be precise so i'll put one of these here 10 minute leg stretch although it was a 15 minute you could write that down and i actually ran as well i ran a mile on the treadmill so i'm going to be using one of these smaller run tracker stickers and it was just one mile and i ran it in 10 minutes and i was at a solid you know 10 minute a mile pace I forget how many calories I burned. I think it was like 101 or something like that. And in terms of steps, I don't remember how many steps it was. So I'll just leave that blank. But now that I'm here with my running tracker stickers, um, I am I have this goal of running a mile a day for a while because I just want to get back into running. And a mile is just like a very doable amount for me. So let's put down some running tracker stickers monday tuesday wednesday thursday and sunday so we're gonna put them down for thursday and sunday here because that is the plan i don't have specific plans to run friday and saturday um but i'm gonna try and if i do i'll make sure to put down a running tracker sticker for that but we're gonna aim for um at least five solid mile runs this week with the stretch goal of running friday and saturday as well the goal is to run a mile every single day this week but we shall see <laughs> if that happens okay let's put these away okay next we're gonna fill out the rest of monday so okay i want a little box here for biking i biked 30 minutes on monday so i'm gonna set that down for um my little biking tracker and then i'll use this little stationary bike here and i didn't you know use the stationary bike for this but i i used my actual bike it was actually part of my commute but that's fine I bike like a mile off of campus and so I bike in. Um, I have my bike on my bike rack on my car and then I bike into my building a mile. But 
On Monday, I actually biked to the gym, which is in a different direction from my building. So I biked to the gym, dropped off my gym bag, and then biked to my building. And then in the evening, biked back to the gym to do my workout. And then from the gym, biked back to my car. So it was overall like a 30-minute bike ride. Okay, and then I also did a 15-minute ab workout while I was at the gym. So I'm going to put that here. I'll put it here at the bottom. And then I also did a five-minute like upper body stretch. So I'll just add that there in the box. And then I also did some weights, just a little bit, a tiny bit of weights here. So I'll put this little weight sticker. And then I'm going to write here, I did bicep curls. I did 10 reps at 10 pounds. And then I did tricep curls or tricep um, lifts, I did triceps. And I did 15 reps at 12.5 pounds. So nothing too crazy, but just a little warm up. Um, I haven't worked out arms in a long time, so I don't want to, you know, destroy my arms as I get back into it. I just want to do something really quick and easy just to get those muscles engaged again. So there we have that. I also walked um, twice on Monday. I walked two like half hour sessions, my pugs in the morning and in the evening, but I ran out of room, so I am not going to be putting that down. And let's get into my Fitbit um, trackers here. So I'll pull for my Fitbit stickers, and then I'm going to pop these into the bottom row here. I'll just go ahead and do all of the Fitbit statistic trackers for the rest of the week. Ooh, perfect. What I really like about these Fitbit tracker stickers is that um, I have 21 fitting on this page. It is perfect. It's just like three weeks fits perfectly on this page. So happy with how those turned out. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so we have that. And so this is what I envision my fitness um, planner to look like on the daily, like something like this. So I'm going to set this up for the rest of the week. So Tuesday, run and legs. So how I'm going to set this up, I already have my running tracker sticker here. So I'll add one box sticker for legs. Um, let's see. And I'm actually thinking of using Mojo Jojo Plans rainbow boxes for this because I feel like I don't have a lot of like boxes in my um, fitness sticker pack. So I'll put down this right here and then one of these clear stickers and it says leg day. So I'll write, I'll layer this maybe like, should I put it inside here or just like on top? So I'll just put it on top of leg day. So this is my leg day workout here. I'll leave this section blank for anything else I want to do. Wednesday is run and arms. And I'm going to go for a yellow here. I'll go for this bright yellow. These like quarter boxes or half boxes, um, I guess they're more like half boxes. These half boxes, I think, are going to represent 15-minute workouts for me. So I'm going to put this down here. And I'm also going to grab another one of these like arm day stickers and put that down there. And then Thursday, we're going to do run and abs. So I'll pull for a green box this time. I guess we're going to do like a little rainbow thing here. So green box, and then I don't think I have like an ab day sticker. So I don't know, I don't have an ab day sticker. So I'm just gonna put this get fit sticker right there. But I'm gonna remember that this is gonna be my ab workout right here. Friday is a hike and legs. So I'm gonna grab my hiking stickers. Um, let's see. Let's pull these out. There we go. And I think I have a hike planned for Saturday as well. I'm trying to get back into hiking. I feel like I left it for a while um, as I got super busy, but I want to get back into it. So hiking sticker for Friday and hiking sticker for Saturday. Right here. Perfect. 
Okay, and then leg day again on Friday. So I'm gonna put this right here and I'm going to grab another one of those leg day stickers that I saw back, way back here. Here we go. Leg day. This one's blue. Okay, so I laid down um, another red box and then I put another one of those clear leg day stickers here for Friday. Saturday is going to be a full body and I think I wanna challenge myself to do a little bit of a longer workout for Saturday for the full body, maybe a 30 minute uh, full body. So let me grab um, one of these larger purple boxes I'm gonna put this right here. This is gonna be my full body workout. And, ooh, I like this little like purple don't quit sticker. Um, I'll leave that there. And lastly, um, Sunday is gonna be a run and stretch day. So I'm gonna leave this blank. Well, actually I'll pull for one of these stickers. Um, I feel like these are too big. I kind of want to prioritize um, updating this sticker. I am slowly going through all of my sticker designs and like updating them so that um, they're like Cricut ready. Um, I might work on this one today actually because I do use these quite a bit and um, I really want to get them like nicely cut on the Cricut. So yeah, I think I might just like toss these right now and if work on this sticker today. But let me cut out one last sticker here. Next time you see the sticker, it's going to be a full on sticker. It's going to be in its final form. So we'll put like this little 10 minute sticker stretch. Hopefully it's more like a 15 minute stretch but we'll put that there and I totally forgot to like set up my five in the morning 5 a.m stretch thing but I think I can sneak it in here okay I do want to add a little bit of deco here and there just to make things interesting so I'm gonna add this super cute um fitness babe here in the corner and then oh I saw like a quote at the beginning of this um sticker pack here uh, that I think is perfect for this um, spread because it is, here it is, a mile a day because I am trying to do a mile a day. So we're going to put this here at the top to kind of inspire me. And um, they're perfect. Let's grab this little Rain Beauty and Muscles sticker. Love that. And then one last sticker here. Oh, I have this sticker pack. Um, ooh, I like this one. Eat, sleep, run, repeat. Put that here at the bottom. And I really like this sticker. I'm kind of hoarding it, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use it because it's going to motivate me to just get back into it. So I think I'll put this one maybe like right here. Perfect. Love these stickers. And I'm going to leave the rest of this space blank for walking, additional workouts, anything else I want to write or journal about. I try to leave a little bit of room for me to be able to add more on top of what I'm already doing. So there's that. And then the last thing I think I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to set up my little habit tracker here. I'll go with a purple, I think. Um, this is a habit tracker that is going to be keeping track of my 10k steps. I used to use more habit trackers in my fitness planner. If you remember my older fitness plan with me's, I say older like they were years ago, but they were just a few months ago. If that, I would say maybe like two months ago, I stopped doing fitness plan with me's. But I used to do three habit trackers. I would do hydration, stretching, and 10K steps. And now I'm just doing 10K steps. And the reason for that is because it is still a goal I'm trying to be conscious about meeting. I, I usually am able to do 10K steps maybe like five times a week, but I'm really hoping to solidly hit it out of the park seven days of the week, like every single day, 10 steps, 10K steps um, minimum. 
once I am solidly in that frame, I think I'm going to start pushing myself to do 12K steps a day. But I decided to not um, keep track of the other habits, hydration and stretching, because hydration, um, I am now moving into my wellness planner and stretching, I am treating it more as a workout instead of like a habit. And I'm including it, you know, here at the top at my in my 5 a.m. stretch. So I'm just leaving myself one habit tracker here. I've really been enjoying this little habit tracker style <laughs> that I've been doing in which I draw seven little hearts and then I color the hearts in with different gel pens um, as I complete the habit. I think it looks super, super cute. And so I'm happy with that. This little space up here, I'm going to leave it for journaling. So we're going to leave that blank. And then I kind of want to add some deco up at the top just to make things a little bit interesting. I think this Agenda 52 um, sticker book would have some good deco up here. So a little water bottle, a jump rope, met my goal. I kind of want to put this here, met my goal, because I did meet my goal of working out at the gym for a solid hour there. Time to work. I'll leave that up there. A little scrunchy. Put that there. Some weights. Cute. And some shoes. Put that there. And the only thing that went a little over the page is this water bottle. But I'll just cut that off there and we're good. Okay, the very last thing that I want to do is some washi tape at the bottom. Okay, this one's a little bit too thick, but um, I want to add some washi tape to the spread because I have a lot of washi tape and I want to get some good use out of it, but also just to add a little bit more of like a decorative element to it. I mean, I do think it is already decorative, but I do think that it could be more decorative. Again, I say this all the time, but I don't really focus on decoration or like um, design with my fitness planner because it really is just a functional planner for me and I don't really pay attention to making it pretty. I think it is pretty, but um, it's just not something I am mindful about or intentional about. And that's it. This is the finished spread. I love it. I think it looks amazing. Let's sneak this into my planner here. So pull for my fitness section. And then here we go. We can slide these pages into here. It feels so good to be back in my fitness planner. I definitely took a break from like fitness for a while there and it happens it happens um there's nothing you just have to get back into it and um recommit to it so here we go again so there it is the finished bread on the discs i think it looks great i'm excited i'm motivated i'm inspired oh let me check off this workout perfect and with that, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck with your fitness programs this week. Let me know what you have been up to in terms of fitness in the comments down below. I would love to hear. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. God bless you and happy planning. Adios. <music>